Hey dolls, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So as you dolls know, Valentine's Day is next week, and I think this is a great updo for the occasion. Perfect with a little black dress or something off the shoulder. And the best part is it's easy. So if you dolls wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I already washed and deep conditioned my hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some leave-in. I'm gonna start with the Pure Naturals Coconut Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. It's not watery at all, it's actually a cream-based conditioner. I do want to keep my hair as stretched as possible, so I'm not going to be um, spritzing it with any extra water. I'm just going to apply the leave-in straight to my damp hair. And then twist that back up. I'm not going to do a tight twist. I'm just making sure that I'm putting tension on the bottom to keep the hair stretched. And then Bantu knot it. So now I'm gonna seal this in with some of the Shea Oil Styling Serum. And I'm just gonna spritz some into my hands and squeeze it into the twist. So now I'm going to part my hair to the side for my bang. And then I'm going to section off the front of my hair. Once we have the front sectioned off, we're going to work on the back. Now I'm going to take some buttercream and apply it evenly throughout the back. I'm gonna spritz just a little water at the roots and put this into a puff. I wanna bring it all the way up to the front section. And then I'm gonna take my drawstring and tie this in place. So once we have our puff in place, we're gonna put some perm rods in it. I'm gonna split this in half and just start putting in some perm rods. Just gonna detangle it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take small sections about this big. And then I'm spritzing only the ends with a little water. You guys have seen me do this a thousand times. I'm just gonna start from the ends and coil the rod onto my hair. For a more in-depth perm rod routine, I'll leave that below. I'm gonna do a mix of orange and beige rods. Also applying a little bit more buttercream to my ends if I need it. So now that the puff is done, let's move on to the front. Now I'm gonna take this piece and slick it back. Once I bring this around the back of my head, I'm gonna pin it upwards towards the puff and take the rest of the hair and wrap it around the scrunchie. If you want, you could lay it like this or you could add some baby hairs or just lay your edges the way you'd like. 
on this side we're gonna do the same thing we did to the puff just spritz a little water add some buttercream and then put in the perm rods I'm just gonna part it in rows and add the perm rods. And if the row feels a little too big, I'm just gonna split the hair in half. So I have 10 rods for the puff and seven rods for the bangs. You can leave this in overnight, but for today, I'm gonna sit under the dryer. All right, so they're all dry, so we could go ahead and take these out. I'm gonna take a little more of the shea oil and separate this how I would any normal perm rod set. I'm gonna separate each curl into smaller sections and then twist it around my finger to keep that definition. And even when I use these products on my first wash and go, my hair was super moisturized and most of my hair was colored. So even the dry parts from the color were still really soft. Now the same thing to the bangs. The buttercream definitely gave my hair like a silky smooth finish. These curls are so soft, like fresh out of a deep conditioner type soft. If you want to leave it this low, you definitely can. I'm gonna pin mine up a little. I'm just gonna take my finger and just bring it up until I find a spot that I like them in. Now I'm gonna hold it and bobby pin it in place. Perfect. Now the puff could always use some more volume, so I'm just gonna pick that up. I'm also gonna take the pick and pull it straight back into the puff so everything just blends and falls in together nicely. So now that the bangs and our puff are in place, we're gonna move on to the side and add our bobby pins. So I'm just gonna spritz a little water, make sure you don't wet the curls, and then take a little gel or edge control, whichever works best for your edges, and just smooth that on. I'm gonna take my handy dandy toothbrush And now we're gonna add some bobby pins. I actually got these from 99 cent store. They came with this ugly leopard print on them. I can't stand leopard print sometimes. So we're just gonna improvise and turn these around and use the all silver part. And I'm just gonna place them and you could do any pattern you want. And that's it dolls, a simple but beautiful updo. Of course you can change the bobby pins around and use different colors. Or even do different designs. But 
I hope you dolls enjoy a Valentine's Day filled with tons of love, tons of chocolate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you dolls in the next one. Bye!